Yo, Big Mike, what's up? Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. I'm just setting up in here. I'm solo tonight. What a day. It's my heart monitor. It was a long week. Aris! What's up, Butchie? What's going on? Hope everybody's well on the Sunday night. Good evening. Sean, uh, beautiful work I've been seeing coming out your way. Very nice, my friend. I am just looking for some artwork, if you can give me that moment while we're waiting for everybody to join us. <clears throat> hmm. That's something, and I just want to see if we still have it. Hello in Texas, Edgar, what's happening? What's happening, guys? I hope everybody is well. I was just checking something I had here, and I just wanted to find something that looked good. <laughs> Thanks, Harris. Hey, Marty, what's happening? Ray, cowboy. Lana, what's up, baby, in Texas? How we doing, Roxanne? What's up, Butchie? Sharon, Jean, thank you. Howard, what's up, buddy? Just Joseph Poindexter, my weekend was great. Thank you for asking. Got my peeps. Hello in St. Louis. Speaking of St. Louis, I have some... Mwah, Dana! Ooh, you got me right on the cheek. <clears throat> oh, man. No, everything was good, guys. Thank you for asking. We had a great time in Charlotte. Too short of a show, if you want my opinion. Um, to be very honest with you, very short, two days. Hard for me to do everything. Teach a class and do everything. Yeah, I'm out here in upstate. Just a question. Of course, I have a catalog, website, everything. Sublimation101.com. First time here. Thank you for joining us. Any other newbies before we start? Can you type the word new inside of your box right now? Would be greatly appreciated to all the people that are new that have never joined us live before. I'd love for you to type the word new into your box right now. Would be greatly appreciated. Okay, we got new. We got new, we got new. Okay, we got a couple of news, which I like. Keep, <clears throat> keep going. Okay. New, new, new. A couple, only three of you new this evening. Okay, well, to my newbies, I welcome you. Jared, shout out to a friend from the old school. My buddy Jared, how are you, pal? Everything looking good. You're live, coming to you live. We are at the Sublimation 101. This is our office, our, our corporate headquarters. <clears throat> this would be our vacuum press mug press training center this is where you the end finisher comes in and we train you on how to make the beautiful product you see around it's a full up running functional training center <clears throat> oh butcher you want to thank you very much jason jason what's up in upstate Butchie, you want to see the hoodie? What's up, baby? Notice the belt buckle, baby. What's that letter? That's me in the future, Butchie. How you like that one? That's all sublimation, baby. These are the sweatshirts coming next week. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was a beautiful thing. Guys, let's get going here uh, tonight. <clears throat> Whoops, excuse me. 
whoops, I touched something I shouldn't have. Hold on. Got it. Thanks, Butchie. Tonight, we're going to be doing Sublimation 101. Hey, Pippit, no, in Iowa, what's up? Double wall tumblers. And our new double wall wine bottle. Check that out. It's a double wall full size line bo wine bottle. Again, these are all our double wall tumblers. They keep hots hot for about 12 hours, colds cold for, uh, actually, excuse me, hots hot for 12, colds cold for about 24. This is the new one, guys, I wanted to point out. You guys always wanted BWH6. This is BWH11. This is the replacement. It's actually taller than the BWH6 was. Hi, Amelia. How are you? And I just wanted to tell you, all of our all of our tumblers come with a corrugated gift box as shown, guys. It's included at no charge for you. That's a shipping box and or a packing box. Okay, so we're going to get started tonight. Okay, we're going to get started right now. I'm going to do something for a friend of mine who's a big football soccer fan who's coming in. So I know he loves Liverpool, so I'm going to make something over here with it. So I just downloaded that, and I called it Liverpool. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to open up. Going to log right into to Creative Studio, and I'm going to launch right into Sublimation 101's account right from the beginning. Well, guys, tonight, <clears throat> tonight I decided for the first double wall tumbler, we're going to use our standard size mug paper, which is a three and a half by nine, to do our first water bottle. Now, I want you to keep in mind. doing the tumblers and the bottles, I always recommend you measuring your work area. You will need a, not a ruler obviously to do this to get your circumference. You're going to have to use good old-fashioned tape measure. Okay, so what I would recommend you doing is always getting that height area knowing where you can work with this particular item. So you want to measure. It's showing you about four and a half inches. To be safe, I'm going to say about four inches on my height. Now remember, your mug press is not going to do a full bleed. So my circumference would be about seven and a half inches. So I've got about a four by seven image to can lay on that particular image. <clears throat> so by using the smaller or larger paper, I'm going to be safe. Hi, Tracy. So by using that, I'm going to put links up to everything, guys. Unless somebody can help me out with links because I'm solo tonight would be great. So I'm going to go tonight right now with my larger mug paper, which would be the four by nine and a half, which is about that size. So I'm going to go over into my canvas for my workspace right here, and I'm going to select my mug paper, and I'm going to get my grid with inches. That would be done. Now I'm simply going to insert my smaller paper into my tray of my printer, like so. Once that is in, I'm going to bring my image up, and I'm going to upload it because I did save that for them, and 
I'm going to make that for a gift for them. I know it was Liverpool, so I'm going to call it Liverpool. I'm going to choose a file in my downloads. should have Liverpool. There it is as a JPEG. And I'm going to bring it in. And I am finished. Now, I tell you guys that when you <clears throat> save an item or are designing an item, you should always save it under the customer's last name and the item number. Yes, you can. You can use the sports bottle wrap for the 3D press. That was a great question. Thank you, Butch. Okay, so let me go over here. And I'm just going to type in the word liver into my search box. And I know the Liverpool logos will pop up that we were going to use. So we've got the solid and I've got the one in the white. So I kind of like that one. And remember, we said we had a four by seven. So I'm going to make this a nice size. I'm probably going to make my height about three and a half inches. Three and three quarters. If I want a 3.75, that'll give me, as you notice, a 3.75 will give me a width of 5.65. Object align horizontally and align vertically. I've got my center point, guys. I'm ready to go. This is ready to print. So now I'm going to send it to the sublimation printer like so. Everything you see is going to be made the same way this evening. Nothing different when we follow the path. Thank you, Butch. So, I've got white metal. Got it. White metal, text print R, auto trace select, high quality mirror image, following the path. Well, hi, Michelle. When I go to my color, I'm going to hit it into graphic. And I am simply going to print that out on our mug size paper. That is ready to go. That's how easy it is to print any aluminum drinkware, any drinkable. Thank you, Butch. Butch, can you pick, look up Coca bottle for me, please? And post the link for this particular item that I'm making first, if you don't mind. I'll go to the link right now for us. And I'll show you which bottle in the search box. I put in C-O-K-A in the search box. And Butchie, these two bottles should come up right there. These are our 17-ounce stainless steel coca bottle is what we're making first. Hey, in Midland, Texas, how are you? Thank you for joining us this lovely evening up at Sublimation 101. Thank you, Butch. Always appreciated. Now... Let's go over to the mug press, guys. Now, this is where the fun part's going to start for you, okay? They have two mug presses set up. And there's a reason, and I'm going to show you right now. You can't miss it. When doing a thinner or not as large of a circumference of a drinkable, you are going to use the thicker pad. Now, how do I change my pad in my mug press? I slide the thin pad out. I unscrew and release. That is the thinner pad for mugs. That is the thicker pad for water bottles and double water tumblers. Uh, we will go over all the questions as soon as we're done, guys. Hi, Hope. So now with that, guys, I have my mug press open. I'm simply going to slide the pad right in, like so. Then I'm gonna, there is a, there's a crease right there, a cut in the plug, which goes right into your center. You turn it on, your machine is ready to go. It's gonna do its countdown, as you see. Now, how do you set up the Sublimation 101 mug press? You're simply going to push your mode button once. Your idle temperature is 350. You're going to push the mode button the second time. Your idle temperature is 380. You're going to push your mode button again. That is your timer. 60 seconds is for all ceramic drinkables. If you remember the word gap, glass, aluminum, also metal, and plastic, I will bring my timer down to 30 seconds for these items. 
Now I will let my machine warm up. Our machine over here is warmed up and it's gonna have an alert going. And your machine will beep like you see to alert you of the temperature. That is for CE certification. So while that's going, I'm simply going to trim my transfer. Now once our transfer is trimmed, I'm simply going to remove the cap off. Always remove any lids with plastic or anything that can cause harm or damage or melt especially. We have our image right here ready to go. I'm simply gonna tape the image, putting about a quarter inch piece of tape on either side as you see. If you notice, the tape is not touching the ink that is on the other side of the paper. You do not wanna do that, okay? The reason you do not want to do that is that'll leave a mark. It's heat tape. It'll block any color from going in. I am simply going to line up the image into the designated area of the water bottle, or should I say coca bottle we're using this evening, like so, and I'm going to pull it firm and secure, rubbing my hand to make sure I don't hear anything. Then we're going to come over to our mug press. Right here, we're gonna be using this one. And I'm simply gonna insert it with the thick pad in with medium pressure. No, this one has a dual pressure control setting for beveled or tapered mugs. But when closing your mug press down, regardless of which brand it is, you do not want to apply a heavy duty pressure. You will push the start button now. You will notice my temperature is dropping down because the aluminum was cold, my water bottle. That's why we're gonna enable to do it in the 30 seconds time that we just mentioned to you. Now you'll see it's heating up. It's gonna heat up to its 380 degrees and do its automatic countdown. Okay, this is how we'll be proceeding. And as it heats up, well, let's prepare our next one and we can come right back over here. And Fuji, our next machine, you'll notice is warmed up, ready to go. If somebody can put a link up for our newest product, the double wall wine bottle. That is a full size wine bottle, guys. As you can see, it measures about 13, 12 inches without the cap, about 13 inches with the cap on. And if you notice our mug press in that whole time, how fast the double wall tumbler heated up, it's already on a seven second countdown. Now I recommend when picking this particular product up, the end will be a little cool, but always keep a glove near you. We're simply gonna push the green button to stop some mug presses, this might get extremely hot where I'm holding, so please be very careful. We're going to take it out like so. We are not going to scratch onto the aluminum. We are going to be scratching to remove on the paper where the tape is. That's how you want to take your tape up. If you go the other way and start scratching where the white aluminum is, you might scratch into the coating and into the white of the mug because it's hot. So I grabbed my tape and I pulled it right off and it came out perfect. There is our easy to make cocoa bottle. I'm going to submerse it right into some water to cool it down. Make it a little easier for me to handle and wipe off. I'll go upside down. It's already pretty much cooled right down. Now these cook real fast guys because remember they absorb hot's hot and cold's cold. So it's going to cool down very fast for you. We're going to dry it off.
Thank you, Hope. And guys, I'm gonna put the cap back on. And that is the first of our double wall tumbler tonight. It's available in silver and in white, which is the Coca bottle. They do include the gift box, which is good for shipping and for gift giving. Thank you guys, I have, thank you. Came out beautiful, didn't they? Very simple and easy to make, guys. Maybe I could have tightened the pressure a little more, to be honest with you. I see where you're saying right now. Now, if you like, we're going to go to the wine bottle. So, into regards to Bull's <coughs> sublimation and customization, what I'm going to do over here now, just to confirm, I'm going to take my cap off. I'm going to put my wine bottle in. There we go. Now, I'm going to really have the time to take my time without rushing and adjust my pressure control. There we go. We got nice adequate pressure right here. Remembering I've got the same space to work with. So if you want to make something custom for wine. Thank you, Leanne. Now they come pre-filled. Michael, Michael Select. So we'll go back over here and we're going to select all and we're going to go to object delete and we're going to go to our designs and let's go for something for holiday and maybe you decide you want to do something for New Year's Eve for somebody and let's get something with some popping color in it. There we go. Now this is a factory image in Creative Studio. So basically what I'll do is if I want to come over here, obviously, I'm going to change 2018 to 2019. And I'm going to hit OK. And that's going to automatically change it over. And we have a nice image for our wine bottle to put right on. So let's sit over here and go to print. I love when I print a vibrant color onto metal. It really, it, it's, it's a great, it's fun. You know what guys? Let's go a little, let's go a little different on this one. Cause the first one came out so fast and so quick. Now remember in Creative Studio, when the wheel is spinning, that just means it's a larger, it is a larger graphic from Creative Studio and it's just going to take a little longer to load. Align horizontally, align vertically, excuse me. Object, align vertically. So we've got a four by four square. We're going to have to make that a little smaller, guys, because of the size of the paper we're using. We're going to have it at about a 3.75 square because we don't want the edges to bleed out. So that would be one, and we're gonna shoot over to our designs. Hi, Rose. And we're gonna go back over to our holidays. And if you wanna do something, maybe, I don't know, a birth announcement bottle. I mean, you can, it doesn't have to be just for holidays. I mean, it could be a baby announcement and fill it up with money, coins, something. I, I, you could be creative with it. I mean, Father's Day, there's a lot of different things for Father's Day. 
So you can, again, go into Creative Studio and just don't think about it for the holiday. We always got to think outside the box with different items and different things. So again, if we went back to Christmas and we wanted to put some green into that, you can use something like that. Whoops. You could put some green in it. I actually like the first one we used, to be honest with you. I like the Happy New Year. I liked it with that black because I was really wanting to see how that came out. I think it would be great. We just got these items in, guys. Copy it. It's not dumb. The dumb question is the one you don't ask, my friend. Creative Studio comes free with the purchase of a Sawgrass SG400 and or 800 printer. Um, again, the program you see me using is free with it. So don't ever think you had a dumb question, please. Not in this company. We don't do that here. This is not a group page. This is a company run page, just so you know. And everything available being shown is through this company. So we have our New Year's Eve. We're going to print it out. I'm going to hit OK. And we're simply going to run that right through the Virtuoso Print Manager following our path. You know, especially now it's getting a little cooler out was a reason it was a great idea to start preparing you guys. We're going to be shooting a lot more videos because uh, we're getting a call for that. Especially with the holidays coming, guys, it's always hard to refer and count on uh, a, a group or, oh, Cassandra stopped working. So we're going to try that again, and we know what happens when we do that. Cassandra basically will validate the file. Are you using, then you cannot use Creative Studio, unfortunately. I have Sawgrass printers, and you can have Creative Studio if you'd like. Click here to print. I hope Cassandra's not down. Okay, here we go. It's going to be validating the files. So once that's done, you notice I didn't shut down completely. I just waited a couple of seconds, guys, just to let it reprint. So we're gonna let that come out. And the next item we're gonna do, if Butchie or, and or Jason can put up a link. I have two of them. There's BWH11W and an 11S. So it would be BWH11W and 11S are the next two 500 milliliter tumblers we're going to be doing tonight, guys. These are very cool. I love the new top on them. I'm going to show it to you live. It's a snap lock and lid. It also comes with the rubber bottom, which is applied after. Cameo 3 software is good. No, but I've never, I wouldn't supplement the cap because the cap has plastic on it and... The reason we don't want to do that is we don't want to melt the plastic. So Cassandra's ready to go. Here's our print, metal, text print R, auto tray select, high quality. Our colors are graphic. Let's let that print out. So that's going to come out and we're going to set ourselves up right now. Um, I have templates for the stuff for Photoshop that are free. So, Bulls, if you need that, I can show you where to get that for show. Photoshop is right on my website. If you go to our website and go to support, guys, you would simply go right here to sublimation templates. And once you hit sublimation templates, all of our templates for our products are, are done in a cloud, and you can download them for Photoshop. That's all you have to do. Thank you, Butchie. 
And Butchie, I have one more request. Or Jason, if anybody is available for me on our website, if you don't mind, Butch. If you type in BWH, you're going to get two of them to pop up. You'll have the 11W. And then if you type in BWH 11S, You'll have the silver one pop up because we have both of them in two colors. Thank you, Butch. And the next one we're going to be making is our new larger one right over here, guys. I was telling you about the cap and everything. Let's get one over here. And first thing we're going to do is our wine bottle. Yay! So I'm simply going to take our wine bottle, guys. And I'm going to tape the image right around into the designated area like so. If you want to make it easy and do a wrap with a wine bottle, just so you have a better idea, you can do a wrap with a wine bottle, guys, and do multiple images. <clears throat> what you would be doing is in your workspace, by doing multiples, you would start here, spin, and you would have to time it. You'd have to let it run about 20 to 30 seconds in intervals and keep spinning. I'm going to do a full wine bottle, but not right now, tonight. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how and how I did it. I just give me a little introduction to what we have for the upcoming holiday season. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait until uh, the horse is drawn and then uh, the holiday season's here and you're screaming for videos. So I'm going to hit that down. You can never have too much information. Better desperate for business than desperate in general. Our press is heating right up on this one. Look at that, guys. The temperature did not go down. Hi, Catherine. It pretty much maintained itself at the 350. And it's probably going to shoot right up to the 380. There we go. And it's doing its countdown. So while that's counting down, I'm going to come over here, guys. And I'm going to show you and heating up the new one. BWH6's replacement. BWH 11S, a taller bottle, a locking lid that snaps shut, and which is great for when you have it in your car or in your vehicle. We give you with a 3M adhesive, as you see, a bottom rubber stomper, which you then adhere right after you're finished with the product. And of course, like all Sublimation 101 products, it does include a corrugated shipping box ready for you to go. Our wine bottle is counting down. Wednesday, Catherine. Again, my handle is cool. I got nice firm pressure. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna, again, Remove the tape and always scratch off on the paper. Do not scratch at the drinkable. You will leave a mark on the drinkware. Because of the coating and everything. And there's my wine bottle for New Year's Eve. Let me get the little cap for it right here. Let's move this out of the way. I'll let you guys really check it out. There we go. That's what I want to see. I get some love. Can I get some likes? Look how big that bad boy is. You can get the whole family drunk on that one. The tall tumbler, Joseph, is a 500 mil. How does that look, guys? You like that? Thank you, Paul. Bulls, tired of that pressure, you see? A little tightening of the pressure. Good evening to Rich Bannock Photography. How do you like that wine bottle, guys? You're loving that, huh? Jason, when you get here for the next open house, it'll be full waiting for you. Well... And again, that'll keep hots hot, colds colds, great for sports fans, dads, anything. Thank you, Roxanne. Yes, the red does really pop, doesn't it? Thank you very much, Bulls. Appreciate it. 
Thank you, guys. I'm going to put it up here so you can get a better view of it in the light. How's that? Let me put it on the top shelf. There we go. How's that look? Let me get some more love for that, baby. Look at that. Come on now. Give me some more love. Yes, it will fit in the wine box. That is correct, Butch. I'm going to put all the links up right now. Next, we're going to do our new 500 milliliter tumbler. I just showed you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my machine right here, guys. Like I show you in all the videos, my rubber bottom gets put to the side. I take my cap off and put it to the same side. Always up right there. My focus is that bottle in that machine to get a perfect product. I'm going to put the cap and the bottom on last. They're not important right now. So first thing I'm going to do, you see, is put the bottle into my machine. And I'm going to tighten up my pressure because we just had the other bottle in there. So you see I'm turning it? Just keep on tightening, guys. Firm pressure. On non-double wall, you do not want to over-exceed the pressure. On non-double wall tumblers, if you over-exceed the pressure, it is metal. It's aluminum. It gets hot. It softens. You will dent the product. And I know, including myself, we have all done that one time or another. That is why that happens, so you know. A little more tighter there. I like a little more pressure. There we go. That is ready to go. So now I'm going to go back over and design our image. Very simple, very fast. Jason, I found my new coffee cup. There you go, pal. So we got that ready to go. Let's shoot over to Creative Studio Designer. Select all, object delete. Oops, I'm sorry. We had our product already, which was our blank canvas. Let's go over to our design. And let's do something here for maybe a little sports and fitness or something. Bodybuilding, maybe something for a gym. You can, you do know all of this is in Creative Studio for you to use. And it could be for nature, it could be for gyms, fundraisers. There's just so much of an opportunity. So let's get something with some nice color to make that pop again. I really enjoyed that. Um... There we go. No pain, no gain. Now, right here, where it says fitness, I would simply just type in sublimation 101 space fitness and watch. It's gonna change it and then all you have to do is size, whoops. angle which I know a lot of us aren't sure how to do anything like this in Creative Studio this being provided it makes it a heck of a lot easier for us to do let me just jump out of there and go back to the fitness and there you would have it with sublimation 101 fitness right on the inside Ah, Butchie, you're funny. So. Once I have that done, if I want to drag it out a little or make it a little larger and move it around, you can. That's done, so I'm going to hit print. I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to just ride that over and go right through, guys. Very simple and easy. Once it pops right up, high quality, white metal. Whoops, I noticed it didn't fit. See, I had my preview right here, guys. Look, in my preview, I noticed I got cut off. That's why it's always nice to look at your print preview. So let's cancel that out. Let's go to select all, and let's bring that in a little smaller. Let's go to select all again, and let's just move that one over. 
And let's get another one for another bottle, just in case you wanted to see something a little different on it. If you're doing something for a sports team, for a coffee shop, there's, I mean, there's so much in here, you would have to really go through and do a search on, you could type in coffee and see what pops up. There's just different pieces of clip art and logos and things you can use to do coffee. I mean, it just can work with a lot of different stuff. None, none of my favorites, to be honest with you. So let's start over here again, and let's go back to the beginning, how we did this. Basically, what we did was, we went to our product and we started with a blank canvas, which was mug size paper. And you've heard me say a lot for the holidays, you would do want to have mug size paper laying around. We went to our designs and let's go over here. I want to get something with a lot of color. Um, Camping sites. Got something for music and entertainment. A lot of cool stuff in Creative Studio. I don't know if anybody's really been searching around and seeing what they had, if there was anything new or anything special they loved or saw. So we'll go for Dad's Day, maybe. Go for something cute for Dad on there. Everything right now we don't have to make has to be Christmas. Select all. And I'm just going to move that right into my center. And it's got a little flames in it, but it says backyard barbecue. And I would simply just change that maybe to, I don't know about hottest, but world's best. Maybe you want to put in Maybe your name. You can add a name into there. And you could just simply make a simple drinkware for dad. World's best dad, love Michael. I mean, again, with Creative Studio, you can get very creative. Hi, Connie, how are you? So let's go over here. Let's go uh, back over here. Let's go to designs. Butchie, you like Jim, right? The brother? All right. Butchie's brother, Jim. I know there was some pretty stuff in supports and causes. There you go. There we go. That is more meaningful right there. And instead of I, because of the company, I'm going to put we. Whoops. Sorry, guys. I'm alone tonight again, so you have to bear with me. We support them all. There we go. Thank you, Jason. So that's ready to go. I'm going to print that out for our coffee tumbler. Again, which is a double wall. It's a larger file, so again, it's taken a few more seconds to print. White, silver, metal, text print R, high quality mirror image, color, graphic, and let's let it print. <clears throat> Jason, thank you for sharing the links. It's always appreciated. So what we're going to do over here right now, guys, is our, our image is going to come out. I'm simply going to trim off a little on the sides. Make it simple and easy. Easier for me to also put on. All done. Come on over. Let's go make our tumbler. Our machine is all set. We've heard it beeping the whole time. 
always double check your work, especially the holiday time of year. You might want to take your image, your transfer, and always maybe fold it in half. And not fold, but pinch in half and pinch the top. And the reason you want to do that, that's where you know where the top is, so you don't make an upside down product, especially with drinkables. Especially if it's an expensive product. So I'm simply going to take my image, line it up into the designated area of my 20 ounce tumbler here with the Nice tight fit on it. Gonna line it right into our machine. Now, unlike the ones we just made, guys, the ones we just made had necks on them, if you recall. They had the necks sticking out that made it easier for me to grab. There is no neck here. Chances are this aluminum on the end will get hot. So, always keep a glove around, be careful. Thank you, Jason. And don't forget, push your start button. It's going to heat up. And I'm putting my hand inside just to... It's getting hot in there, guys. It's going to get hot very quick on you. So again, before you open and grab the end, whichever mug machine you're using, always double check. That's going to be a blister waiting to happen. And that's going to be cooking along. It's already at, because it's a double wall tumbler and it keeps hot, hot. Look, it's heating up so fast. That's how we're able to achieve that. Yes, always mirror the image on everything except for flat glass, Tanya. Oven mitts work great. This is warm, I'll tell you that now. Don't watch me doing it, guys, live. I'm used to that after 25 years. So if I was you at home, I would have my protective glove or oven mitt handy. Hello, protect those hands. You can't make no money with them. Our mug is beeping. I'm going to put the camera right over there for you. I'm going to push the stop button on the machine. I'm going to open it up. And once again, I'm going to scratch off on the paper, not on the tumbler. Silver, white, any color. Use the paper as an agent. Take it right off, guys. Now, how is that color on the silver? Give me some love. How's that color? I want to see it out there, guys. What's the deal? No good? Just gonna cool it down in some room, uh, some cool water right over here, as you see. And I'm gonna come over here in front of you guys, and I'm going to dry off the double wall tumbler. I'm gonna give you a nice perspective of the color, just in regards to quality. It's not always about price; it's about quality. How do you like that? Thank you very much. Now for the last part, I'm going to put on my screw-on cap. Like so. Again, I showed you before. It's a snapping lock lid. You heard that? Turn that upside down. While that's upside down, I'm simply going to remove my 3M adhesive rubber disc for the bottom. What I like to do is I'll separate the, the backing and then I will peel the disc, the film off of the disc. You'll get a lot easier placement that way. Once that's peeled off, I'm going to take the rubber, start right into the center and then push right down, turn it over, and we are finished. Thank you very much. I'm going to be putting up the product links, guys. 
for all of our double wall tumblers that we offer here at Sublimation 101 for the upcoming holiday season. What does this show me? To be careful. There's that beautiful wine bottle you like so much. Any questions before I go to sleep tonight, guys? Got show orders to prac. Got another live show for you. I don't even want to tell you. I made something else tonight. You want to see it? I made something. I had a great idea tonight. Who wants to see it? Thank you, Rose. Who wants to see my new idea? Say me, 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 me. Nope. 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 I'll show you Tuesday night, guys. I have a great idea. Nope. I'll tell you Tuesday night. Come join me. <laughs> no, no, no. Nope. Nope. Guys, I'm going to show you Tuesday night. I have another great idea. I'm probably going to see you tomorrow night. Let's do toilet paper tomorrow. One more time for the shitter. Guys, this is the beginning of many live feeds coming for the holiday. Not because I'm desperate for money. I'm desperate to teach people. I like to have fun. Better to be desperate for money than just desperate in general. Oh, that video is going to be out there live. Don't you worry. Stop the bomb. Hug your mom. Keep on going. Oh, yeah? Right back at you, Rose. You guys, have fun. Keep on sublimating. I hope you enjoyed Sunday Night Live with Michael. We got more to go.